guys, it's him, and this is Brussling Unlimited. So last week, we did see Mercedes Monet make her AEW debut, and there's been a lot of talks about her picking AEW over WWE, that WWE may have gave her a good money deal, but AEW was going to give her more freedom, and she liked that. She thought that AEW could give her the opportunities to work other places as well, and this and that. And Mike Johnson over at PW Insider has a pretty extensive update pertaining to Mercedes Monet landing in AEW and what she hopes to accomplish in that company. Johnson writes the following. With the AEW debut of the former Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet last week, there's been a lot of attention on her Dynamite debut, but an equally important story is how and why she landed with All Elite Wrestling. PWInsider.com is told by multiple sources from both WWE and AEW that each side had pursued and were willing to commit to deals that amount to eight figures in total over the course of the deals, which would be record-breaking numbers for a female performer in professional wrestling, and now makes her likely the top-paid female performer in the history of the business. In the case of AEW, discussions went on for about 18 months prior to Monet signing. WWE came into the picture late, but we are told that top flight execs were involved in those discussions and that WWE absolutely wanted Monet back, quote, in the family, so to speak. PWInsider.com is told that in the end, the final factor in the decision-making as to where to go on Monet's part was which destination would allow her stronger potential, not just for herself, but for additional and future women in professional wrestling. We are told by sources that a major part of the decision to go to AEW was that Monet believed that while going back to WWE could have been beneficial, it would have been a return to to where she had been already. Plus, once you lock in with WWE, that becomes your utmost priority, and other projects would be automatically made secondary to WWE touring and performing. There was also a feeling that while there's tons of potential to do things with WWE, that doesn't mean that potential has to be jumped on immediately when there's so much additional she's pursuing outside the pro wrestling world. One person close to the situation pointed out that Monet brought in a million viewers for her debut on Dynamite as proof in execution, but also stated that there will need to be a lot of work to be done as AEW tries to capitalize on that. Now, this is me editorializing, stating that that's not correct. Yes, Dynamite opened last week with 1 million viewers, but then within a minute or two, dropped all the way down to 899,000 because to all those people that were watching Big Bang Theory jumped off. So just because the first minute or two of the show did have a million viewers, according to the WrestleNomics breakdown, it dipped really quickly to 899,000 viewers. So no, she didn't do a million viewers on Dynamite. Back to Johnson's report. AW also provided a chance for Monet to build a direct relationship with Warner Brothers Discovery, as well as potential access to their film and television franchises. Beyond Monet's acting pursuits, PWInsider.com is told that over the last several years, by being outside the WWE bubble, she has had the chance to develop fashion and music projects that she wants to keep bringing to the forefront. Those interests grew exponentially while she was recovering from her leg injury over the last year. At the end of the day, the belief from those close to Monet is that the best way she could keep developing and working on her passion beyond performing in the ring was to be in a place that would allow her to develop her projects, not just sign up to return to WWE, where all her energy would be targeted on WWE 90% of the time. AEW provided more of a balance. While we are told that Monet recognized that her decision on where to sign would also be about leaving her own potential legacy in professional wrestling as well as ownership of that legacy. Monet's new theme song is owned by Monet. She now owns all her trademarks and copyrights for everything Monet related. Something that would never happen in WWE unless you are Dwayne Johnson. The AEW move allowed for Monet to continue to build her own personal empire and to exploit everything that she does with AEW through her own endeavors. It was about building a platform for herself, not just going back to wrestling matches. We are told by those close to the situation that Monet, who made the final call on where to land, wants to shake up the overall system for professional wrestling and create new opportunities for women to get a higher premium financially as well as more opportunities down the line as new generations of women pursue professional wrestling. There are some 
who have asked about Monet, mentioning she still has unfinished business in WWE on a recent podcast appearance and that she believes she will return there one day. One source close to the situation noted that it wasn't meant as anything that would undercut AEW, but to acknowledge that she started with WWE and that perhaps she'll close things out there. Nothing more. As one person noted, quote, unfinished business could be as simple as one match with Bayley. The belief among some in AEW is that Monet could potentially fill the type of role that The Rock and John Cena have with WWE. Someone who can take their outside success and cascade it back into the company. There is hope that she will bring the goodwill she built with the audience to AEW. We are told she is approaching the run, not as someone looking to take oxygen out of the locker room, but as someone hoping to expand everything for everyone, especially the woman's roster, so that she can elevate the entire company and hopefully make their talents more mainstream. Sort of similar of what Scott Hall and Kevin Nash did for WCW decades ago. So there's a few things to look at here in this reporting from Mike Johnson over at PW Insider. Now, again, like I stated, she did not bring in a million viewers to Dynamite. That's not true. That's a false narrative. Just because the first two minutes or so of the show is credited with having a million viewers, within those first less than five minutes, really, the viewership dipped down to 899,000 viewers, which means at least 100,000 viewers dipped out that were just there for Big Bang Theory. They say older people and females love the Big Bang Theory. And I can attest to that. My mom's a 50-something-year-old female, and she watches Big Bang Theory reruns Monday through Fridays on the local Fox network. But regardless, it looks like Mercedes Monet wants to continue to be able to do things her way, wants to be able to do things outside of pro wrestling, and just felt like if she went to WWE, it would be like, yes, you may be able to do that stuff, but they've got to approve it, and then they're probably, knowing WWE, going to want their cut. Now, if you think about it, when she started doing the Star Wars stuff and on The Mandalorian, she was with WWE when that started. So it's not like WWE is flat out going to tell her, no, you can't do these outside projects. But being with AEW and knowing how Tony Khan has let other people do other stuff, it's kind of the right call for her if she doesn't want to be. And I'm not saying she's not 100% committed to AEW, but if she doesn't want to be just the pro wrestler anymore but she wants to be more of a philanthropist doing multiple different things if she needs time off to go say do a fashion week here or go shoot a movie here she's more likely to get that time off with aew than she would be with wwe also them saying that both wwe and aew offered her eight figure deals that's kind of crazy that's at least 10 million dollars and we don't know if that's eight figures a year or eight figures over the multiple years that she has signed for, or could have signed for with WWE. But with that, if we do hear anything further, more backstage information on Mercedes Monet and her decision to go to AEW over WWE, we'll have it for you right here. Pro Wrestling Unlimited.